Welcome. As part of the Bringing Back the Bunyip Bird Summit, we went to three local wetlands. They're all unique and a bit different, but they have one thing in common, bitterns. Bitterns are heard at all three through the summer and spring when they, we hear the booming and, of course, occasionally we get to see them. The Australasian bittern is amazing. The way they can just stand, it's quiet and it's still. If you're looking for them, you might come across them, but if you're not and you pass by them, you would never know that they were there. The first of these, and probably the most preeminent, is Five Bow Wetland. It's about 430 hectares and is located just to the northeast of Leeton. It used to be a depression with large areas of black box. With the arrival of European settlement and the development of Leeton and the irrigation area, it became a permanent wetland. Australian bitterns are uh, pretty regular at Five Bow. Ever since I came here, I've been seeing bitterns. We counted bitterns in the middle of that time in 2015, three of us, and spread out across the swamp. This was in about an hour and a half in the afternoon. We uh, had about uh, over 40 sightings of bitterns. It's really only the first two weeks in November in Five Bow here that, that do call a lot. We use environmental water to try and rehabilitate wetlands and by re rehabilitating them, we are providing a habitat for Australasian bitterns and lots of other water birds at the same time. We're providing a food source, habitat for their roosting and also for their nesting and laying eggs and for raising their young, basically. There's 87 species of water birds have been recorded at Five Bow Swamp. That's probably more water bird species recorded than any other wetland certainly that I know of, in the whole of Australia. And as this is only a 450 hectare site, it's a massive density of birds per unit of, of area. We are also very fortunate in that we have two wetlands located very close to Griffith. Campbell's wetland and Nerikon wetland, which are also quite different. Campbell's being very deep, so it has quite a different structure to Nerikon, which is quite a shallow wetland. Campbell Swamp is, um, is a wetland of about 27 hectares. Historically, it filled with local rain and irrigation inflows and just run off the land. In more recent times, it hasn't had the irrigation inflows, so it relies um, ephemerally on um, environmental water. By doing that, we're providing habitat for water birds, particularly Australian bitterns who have been found in rice, but we're trying to basically create conditions in wetlands that encourage them to come back and to actually feed and use wetlands for growing their chicks and their young. Campbell Swamp is a, in, an important um, refuge for wetland birds and field naturalists in about the 19, in the middle of the 1990s realised that it was that and started writing lists and counting birds. And it was at that point that they realised that this was a really important refuge for wetland birds. So you get things like the colonial nesters like ibis, egret and cormorant, but you also have the Australasian bittern, which is highly threatened. Little bittern, you have blue-billed ducks and freckled ducks, which are both on the threatened list. And you have um, magpie geese, and we've had those breeding for the last probably 10 or 15 years. Some of the pretty birds we see around here are the egret and the great crested grebe. Nerikon is a different swamp. It's a much more shallow swamp. It's also ephemeral, but when it did get water, it attracted a lot of migratory waders, which come in from um, Siberia and Russia. Field naturalist also had a hand in revegetating all of this. So members collected seed. They grew the seed in a little nursery that they had. And it's quite a lot of the seed was direct drilled into here. And I think very, very successfully. Australasian bittern um, uses um, the wetlands as a refuge and it's breeding. These wetlands are really important for drought refuge. The Australasian Bitten Summit was a huge success with over 130 people in attendance from across Australia and New Zealand. They were able to hear a wide range of speakers and of course attend these field days in the wetland, at the wetlands. <laughs>